Today I'm showing you how to take your fireplace from this to this for under 60 bucks. Can you believe these stones are the same as these stones? Let me show you how. Grab yourself some mortar out of the concrete aisle at Home Depot or Lowe's. When you're mixing your mortar, you wanna use a beater and you always wanna add water to your mortar until it gets the right consistency. Consistency is 100% key. Definitely you're looking for thick mashed potatoes. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with this problem. When you're putting the mortar in these big, huge cracks and it's too wet, it's going to start falling out. My fireplace especially had very deep, wide gaps. This was a big problem and a learning curve. I started by using a bag and trying to squeeze the mortar in and push it in in each crack. Because of the type of stones I had, this was not working very well and I ended up just using my hand for most of the time. One thing you'll see here is I am not wearing gloves. This was day one and man, did I pay for it. Starting on day two, I wore gloves the rest of the time. What'll happen as it starts to dry is you'll need to go back and push the mortar into place. It'll thicken up and allow you to really mold it where you want it. As time went on, like I said, just shove it in place. It was falling out everywhere, especially on the lower rocks. This was a consistency problem. You want to make sure it's thick enough to hold. Once you've gotten a layer through the entire fireplace, this is what you're gonna have. It's gonna look dark, it's gonna look scary, and it's not gonna look like what you want. Be patient, let it dry overnight. If your luck is anything like mine, you're gonna run out of mortar with just a little bit left. Keep going, grab another bag. It's only $7 a bag. It took me three bags to do my fireplace. With my very last bag, I made sure to put a little extra all over all of the previous work. This way I could assure the color would be consistent throughout the full fireplace, no matter which batch it was, if one had a little more water or a little less, perfect consistency was a big deal for me. Before you start sanding or using the dry brush, make sure you cover your area. It's a mess. I used a brush with steel bristles to go over all of the stones and the mortar lines. One thing I wish I had done was use my drill with a stiff brush that attaches to it would have gone so much faster. Next, I couldn't leave this gold brass looking fireplace insert, just couldn't do it. So I taped it off, painted it black with some heat resistant spray paint to give it a more modern updated feel. And there you go, $55, one weekend, beautiful fireplace. Follow for more.